Hi, just a quick follow-up video to my uh, previous one about uh, the solar install options up on the roof here. I just wanted to show you uh, my live uh, consumption figures here using my solar analytics system. I've done a video installing uh, this thing. I'm using my new uh, Legion notebook to record this internal mic, so it's going to be crappy internal webcam and etc. Anyway, so um, I thought I'd show you this. Now, uh, we actually have a Mrs. E vlog approved uh, option for a 6.5 kilowatt system and what that would be is to remove one of the existing uh, panels one of the existing 250 kilowatt ones and then that would actually allow us because the LG panels here's the new LG neon R panels um, these are about 600 bucks a pop they're not cheap uh, maybe I can get them cheaper in bulk um, but bulk. Anyway, we're looking at 10 new panels of this, right? So it's, you know, it's not going to be cheap to upgrade this solution, but uh, the size of them here, you can see that these are uh, 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 10, 16 centimeters wide by 1700 or 1 1.7 meters high. Now the roof can actually support, we're not there and measured again, it can actually support two of these vertically. So uh, in order to not disturb the existing system too much, i.e. not have to move our whirly birds or move our TV antenna, um, then if we remove one of the existing panels, we can actually fit five a 5x2 five array of these new panels um, on the new part of the roof. So I can't see any reason why we couldn't do that. So anyway, if we do that, so if we have a string of 10 of these new uh, 380 kilowatt, uh, 380 watt panels, that's 3.8 kilowatts just for that one string. And then the existing string, we remove one panel from our three kilowatts, that gives us 2.75 kilowatts um, for a total of like a six and a half kilowatt system. So I reckon that is doable. Anyway, we can, uh, this is what you can see the uh, live profile, that's our live profile at the moment. Um, all right, consumed live monitor. There we go. We're currently consuming 1.4 kilowatts uh, here. We do, we're not charging the electric car. We not have, don't have an aircon on at the moment. You can probably see aircon behind me there. That's a new one that we had installed. Dodgy Brothers install on that. I've done a uh, I've done um, some photos on that on the EV blog forum. So check that out. Um, so yeah, that's. <laughs> Don't like it anyway. They didn't install a fuse or anything. So they bodged into the existing PowerPoint wiring. It's ridiculous. Anyway, going to have to take them up on that. So what I can show you here is, uh, well, actually, let's get out of the live monitor. Okay, let's go to um, the purple one here. Okay, is our consumed. And they didn't, you know, that also that aircon, another little rant, they didn't install it because they wired into the existing PowerPoint wiring. They didn't. You see how I've got a separate aircon? system here in uh in you know this maroon colored thing anyway um they didn't wire it into that pain in the ass anyway uh so total consumed power for um that we've got at the moment um so we peaked just this morning at over six kilowatts because you know if you've got a couple of air cons running we weren't charging the electric car i've got a couple of air cons running uh by the way those little ripples in there overnight that's uh, a fridge we've actually got two uh fridges and um, those little ripples in there would be the fridges overnight. So anyway, the purple ones you need to look at, there's six kilowatts. So if we installed a 6.5 kilowatt system, I think that's pretty ideal, six or six and a half uh, kilowatts because, um, okay, so yeah, we could have had a couple of air cons on there. There could have been like a washing machine or a dishwasher or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, so let, we can go back in the day. So here we go. Look, we had this real big long baseline there. So obviously charging the EV yesterday at 2.2 kilowatts, uh, which is the slow charge for the EV. Um, so we're doing that overnight there. And uh, obviously, we're, yeah, because we needed to recharge it. I, usually we plug it in when there's sun, right? So uh, anyway, you can see that we don't go above six kilowatts. Um and this one, just a smidge above six kilowatts there, very briefly, where we might have had something on. And you can see the yellow profiles there as the, you know, it was perfect sun yesterday, so we got get the perfect uh, profile there. But uh, there we go. It was all choppy on Thursday. You know, the sun just wasn't, you know, just wasn't doing its thing. Um, and, you know, three kilowatts, right? So uh, the scale is auto scaling here. So sorry about that. But can't do, can't, uh, it's not that flexible, the solar analytics thing. From that point of view, I wish you could actually. I wish you could go like full screen and you know change it. That'd be nice. But anyway, um, 
there you go, uh, four kilowatts. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, this one just over, you know, little tiny peaks above six kilowatts. I think the biggest I got was eight kilowatts. Um, there you go. See it? That's seven, seven kilowatts there. Uh, consumed, but once again, only very briefly. So there's no reason why having a six or a six and a half kilowatt system wouldn't do all, because Mrs. EV blog works from home now. So there's no reason why we can't do any of, you know, or like um, all of our consumption and put a little bit smaller into the uh, battery as well. But if we keep going back, there you go. We peaked that one there, peaked at about eight kilowatts, something like that. And, uh, Sagan's here, wants to have a look. <laughs> Hi, there's her camera. Hi. Hi. All right, um, let's have, we're looking at our solar system, Sagan, seeing where it uh, peaks out. Look at that, 8.12 kilowatts consumed. Eight. Eight. So, Eight. But that's very briefly, very briefly. So if we had a 6.5 kilowatt system, that's more than enough for all of our daily consumption, um, like peak consumption, plus enough to put something back into a small battery so we can use them at night. Um, we wouldn't get a huge advantage from a, like a gigantic uh, battery, I, I suspect. Yeah. But anyway, you'd have to run the calcs. Um, battery systems, generally I've run the calcs before and they're not economically viable. You do it because, well, you just can um, kind of thing. But anyway, there you go. So that's, uh, so, you know, there's a, oh, there's a, look, there's a perfect, that oh, the yellow, that's, that's, that's the generation. That's right. So that's the sun. Yep, there was a little dip there. And then the sun, and then it drops off right at the end there, just yeah. like quarter. What time is that? Let's have a look here if we can get out. Can we get it? Yeah, there we go. Drops off at about 5.30, 5.30 p.m. It just goes boop yeah. and just drops off a cliff. It's different in winter. As I said, uh, one of the panels gets shaded, um, so that'll take down that string uh, or it'll lessen that string. Um, but there you go. Like So I reckon a six and a half, six kilowatt system, It'd be, yeah, looking at that data, that looks like it'd be enough. I just want to say what? that you know how that's the sun going up and down? Yeah, it is, yeah. It, it kind of looks like it's sunset. The sun's going down. It, yeah, it it's got mountains in the distance. It is mountains in the distance, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> we do have mountains in the distance. There's blue mountains. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's trees doing the shading right at the very end there. But uh, uh, yep, so there you go. So let us know what you think. Um, I think that yeah, I like yeah, we could like rip out the entire existing installation and then also on the other end of the roof, uh, the near end of the roof where the uh, cables uh, come up through the uh, penetrator, we could put two of those as well. But the roof actually is not straight all the way along, it goes straight and then in, in kinks of the top ridge line. Um, so it's not as wide, the roof's not as wide at that end. But the new end right above me, I mean the new room at the moment, the extension, it's not called the new room anymore. It's not called the new room. It's called the it? back room. The back room. There you We've go. We've had it for three years. <laughs> three years it's or not something. New. It's All not right, new. dude. I think a six kilowatt system will do it. And there we go. There's um, also EV charging as well overnight because we needed to. But otherwise, we do try and do it during the day. We we don't use it much, so um, yeah, we don't need to charge it a huge amount. There we go. That was obviously that was obviously EV charging during the day there. And uh, anyway, let us know what you think. Six and a half kilowatt system should be a winner winner chicken dinner. Hopefully. Catch you next time. Bye. How do I stop this? <laughs> <laughs> stop.